The reason why I'm choosing the Select and Mask to further refine the edge of the selection is to hope that you will do the same. I'll say it again, the more you use these tools and practice these techniques, the better you'll be. And I think um, just using it for hair is one thing, but you know, it's, it's a great tool to, to use and really be um, good at. And again, selections is a great, great skill to have. So in um, the Select and Mask, I'm actually first going to turn up my opacity so I can really see where, um, where my selection is. And you notice here on this toolbar, you have more selection tools to use. So I'm actually going to keep working with the Quick Selection tool here in the Selected Mask. So I want to take this away. So I'm gonna hold down the Option key. And now I can really see um, the specifics of the selection. So I think, you know, doing it the best you can um, just while you're um, in photo, in the layers in Photoshop and just using the selection tool is is great to do but I think also being in here and you're able to see a lot more details about your selections so and again another thing that you can do is um, uh, just work directly on the layer mask when you create the layer mask um, which we'll do again as well. We'll do that as well. Um, all right, I think this is looking really good. Oops, <laughs> just as I said that, I think I jinxed myself. Okay, so you do have, um, again, you can try using the Refine Edge tool and see what that does. Maybe not so good here with this, but it does really well with hair. Um, you can go over here and maybe try um, seeing what Smart Radius does and see what the smoothing does. Smoothing actually makes a little difference. Feather is not something that I want to do, and I don't think you'll want to do that too. Contrast may make a big difference too, so if we up the contrast, see how the edge got a little better there. Um, and then you can also experiment with the Shift Edge to see how that works. I think that, that doesn't really do much here in this case. But play around with these things and see what they do and um, see what the different settings um, will create. And it's always just trying to improve your selections and your, your ability to make selections. And in the future, once you um, have a good idea how all these things work, um, you'll be just, it'll be really intuitive and you'll be able to do this relatively quickly. So I'm gonna, choose to decontaminate and then output to a new layer with a layer mask. So as I do this, since it's a duplicate of this, it automatically turns that off. If that was on, I wouldn't be able to see that. You'd be like, oh, why can I not see the background, my new background? So here, I now also have the opportunity to um, just work directly in the layer mask. And I can use the paint brush and paint with black and white um, black hides and white reveals so I can make this pretty big here and and paint to improve my selection here and to make it a more believable a more believable scene which I don't think mine my choice in background is not believable to begin with, but believable in terms of how seamless your selection is. So I really want, I'm really hoping that you guys work really hard on this and really try your best to make the best selection um, as possible um, and practice. And then again, show, show your work to the class. So I'm gonna continue to do this a little bit more I don't want to take up too much of time, but I think that looks pretty decent. So for the combining of images, um, I'm going to um, show you just one last thing because uh, 
once you have everything in place, your selection, your mask, um, I'm actually going to go back to the background and suggest that you go back to the background and try moving it around to see how it influences your composition. Oops, I'm on the wrong layer. I need that layer. There we go. And I think that that's really cool. Now it looks really unbelievable, right? Um, so move it so the ocean's in the background. Okay, so like I said, I wanted to make this a little more surreal. Um, and I think I've accomplished that. So, so work hard, make a great selection. Um, I want to show you one more thing on um, saving these and posting them online. Um, for this one, you'll also want to show your work. So I will recommend that you do another screenshot. And I'm going to hit Command Shift 4 and just do a screenshot to include my layers. Or again, you can do a screenshot of the entire screen um, and upload that.